so this is the video lecture 22 is there so let's see about the SQL transformation so then I'm going to use the table EMP and DPT so EMP and DPT here so this is the EMP data is there so making DP, uh, DPT number in one group after that calculating the max RD so here you can see this is the max RD we can I'm going to calculate with the help of DPT table so DPT table here DPT number is a common column between these two so after that let's uh, go and create new mapping mapping click on this create button and here let's uh, select the source so here selecting the source of oracle escort com and they are going to select the object or table so going to select here dpt table now after all doing this one uh, here click on this uh, mapping and uh, let's give you a meaningful name of this mapping m underscore sql trans or mason underscore example if you want then you can give uh, the description so after ordering this one uh, this is your source part that has done after that let's use uh, sql transformation sql transformation going to use here you can see sql that's come there now the next is this is the sql transformation so you can see this is the incoming uh, data is there this is the incoming and let's go on this sql so here you can see so connection you can use uh, different uh, connection like uh, mysql uh, sql server according to requirement so going to use here oracle scott connection because the table is in same so here you can use uh, three times is there store procedures stores function and sql query so let's see about the sql query in this lecture and here here to uh, save query or execute query enter query so enter query so they're going to enter uh, one simple query so let's see here select d dot dpt number the next is max are we going to calculate so column is now sam and uh, here let's give alias max underscore sam there after from and let's give your dpt and this is the alias of this dpt and uh, performing the left uh, join left join emp and is the object after that on d dot dpt number equal to e dot dpt number and here let's use the where clause and uh, dpt number so this here d dot dpt number and uh, going to use this dpt number okay there add that and fill here question marks now after that make that this or group by group by and here make it d dot dpt number so after that when i written this query let's copy this one and first here you need to validate it query is valid and if i go and paste the query this place number 10 so going to here you can see the max already on 10 is now 5000 is there so let's give uh, this place 10 now going to run this query so uh, here I'll select uh, d dot d dot comma now let's uh, so that i'm using uh, this sql developer to first execute if on now you can see here this is now d dot uh, in department 10 of max side is now 5000 or display so there after let's give you 20 and uh, let's execute uh, this one so 20 is 
3000 is the max RD. So if I go on this, here you can see 10, 5000, 20 is now 3000 is the max RD. So after that, uh, I did some mistake uh, so that here from here going to copy this query and uh, let's use the paste this place and there in place of this 20 let's give here add this column now uh, let's click on this valid and this is valid now here you can see there are two uh, select statements that apply for first is dpt number and next is max and so what we need to go do here let's click on this output here we need to add to column so sql and here first is now o underscore max underscore sand click on this ok and uh, the next is click one and here next uh, going to use o underscore dpt number So two columns that added then after here you can see pass through field let's add there and they're going to select it or dna and uh, that's it after that the next is let's uh, go back there and there you need to click on this save and mapping go uh, here Mapping is invalid. Let's go on this target and uh, let's uh, uh, select this all target. Incoming field, you can see this or incoming field. Dename or odd max. There after here, this is the target option. Let's uh, select their flat file. So, flat file that I'm going to select. And this place creating the new uh, file at the runtime. So, creating here the file SQL trans dot txt file creating at the runtime. Let's click on this OK and now let's uh, go back. And if you save that, here you can see the mapping is valid now. Let's run this mapping and click on this run. And mapping is now currently running. Here you can see this is starting there. Let's refresh that. This is in queue running. And now success. Success. Thereafter, let's go there on this raw data. Here you can see a square trans text file that's created. So 10 DPT number here. 5000 is the max RD, 23000 is the max RD, 13 is to 8, 5 is the max RD, 14 there is nothing inside there. So if I go into this and making the uh, DPT number in order wise, so here you can see there is nothing for 40 is not there, 40 not matched. So that uh, this uh, here returning the blank. Okay, so this is how we can use uh, this uh, SQL transformation using query mode so here this is the step is there so first we need to take the source here you need to use the sql and uh, thereafter the next uh, thing is here you need to use uh, this sql query you can use the uh, sql query this tools sql query that's fine thereafter here enter the query or save query here save query uh, not going to use here you should write this query. So with the help of this query, we can easily calculate max RD. If you want to main RD, then uh, write the mean. And uh, this query you need to write there, joining the two tables. After that, calculating the max and main RD between these two tables with the help of DPT number. So DPT number that is in uh, both tables. Then after here, D or DPT number. After that, this DPT number. This DPT number, calculating, adding this one. So here. Or uh, the dot deep number and this may be that match, or uh, then that to display the max already, or else that with this blank and making the group by on deep number. 
So this is how we can use the SQL transformation in Infonet Cloud. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now this video is over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.